in today's episode we should have worked on this car yeah on the e39 but we have some problems and we have to work on something else and i'm gonna show you now on what check this out the mini is back with a blown engine yeah check the smoke out i just wanted to park the car in here to see what's wrong with the car and in a few meters everything is completely smoked yeah and uh, oof, i have to go out from this smoke i've already scanned the car before i put it in here and we have a misfire on cylinder four yeah and it is this one i took out the plug and everything yeah and uh, see that we have oil everywhere i think the engine is blown yeah i'm pretty sure in fact i'm pretty sure that the engine is blown and uh, we are going to start with a compression test and after that maybe maybe spark plugs and uh, coils but i'm not sure if we are going to go that far because like i said i'm pretty sure that the engine is completely kaboom yeah let's uh, start the compression test So this is cylinder number two. Yeah, 178 um, psi, yeah, or 12 bar. So it's in the, in range. And cylinder one. Oh, check this out! Almost 200 psi, almost 14 bars. Yeah. I'm going to make a plan. I'm going to talk with the owner of the car because it's not my car anymore. And we are going to find a solution for this, for sure. A new day and update time, yeah. Um, I've talked with the owner and we are going to replace this engine, yeah. We already have an engine on order. Until the new engine arrives, we are going to take the old engine out, yeah. So, let's start. to remove the subframe in order to access the starter but check this out just a second see that oh where's the focus metal in oil yeah oh and it's a lot oh my god this this engine is oh that was a big chunk and it's coming yeah so this one is done so I removed almost everything as you can clearly see in here I just have to remove the starter there is one bolt in here everywhere 15 uh, millimeter socket between the gearbox and the engine and I think we have all the bolts out between the gearbox and the engine I'm not sure if he's going to uh, clear this um, pulley but if not we are going to remove that as well and we can take out the engine and uh, I think I'm going to try to remove the head as well because I might do this uh, myself and uh, I want to take everything out from the engine because it will be easier to remove yeah so I'm, I might take the head off the oil pan Ooh. 
What a mess in here. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, don't mind the pizza. Um, this is our problem. See that? A ring from cylinder 4. Oh, check this out. No, just metal everywhere, yeah? Whoa, look at that. Nasty. Ouch. Yeah. Oh my god, what do we have in here? <laughs> so, this engine, it grenade itself, yeah? I want to take the head off, but apparently I cannot because I remove all the bolts here everywhere but we have two bolts one in there and one in there and for that I have to remove the guide from the chain and oh what we have in here melted plastic or what yeah from the old gasket okay so everything is out except for these two but I have to remove the guide and in order to remove the guide I have to remove these covers yeah and in order to remove that covers I have to remove the engine mount and I have to put something under the engine without an engine yeah on the mini but with a new engine and I waited for you because we are going to unpack this in order to see uh, how uh, many uh, pieces are on the new engine and or how the new engine looks like and I found a problem yeah I've uh, took the old engine apart because I couldn't uh, remove it other way because it was too heavy yeah for me um, on the head everything seems to be just fine we are going to start with cylinder number one perfect shape just a little bit of carbon perfect shape perfect shape and check this out and I'm not really sure what are these marks on the piston um, either a piece of the piston was broken and was here inside or the spark plugs what was hitting the piston because the valves on the head are in perfect shape it doesn't matter uh, now because we have a new engine yeah I'm going to oh in fact let's unpack this to see what we've bought Ta -da, this is the new engine um, we have the pulley which is perfect because I don't want to do this job again um, we are going to replace this um, sensor because we have a new gasket on on the other engine yeah we are going to check if there is a leak somewhere and we are to going to replace this one because there is a little bit of deposit yeah from the coolant because we have a new gasket in there as well but other than that this one seems to be dry yeah in here just in here we have oil because all the um all the minis are leaking in here yeah from the crankshaft uh, position sensor and it's done yeah i know i didn't film anything i've uh, worked since yesterday through the whole night i'm not really sure how uh, um, I managed to do this. Um, I'm really really tired like I'm drunk um, We have the old engine in there everything is put back together. Of course. I tested the, tested the engine. Yeah, I put oil um, Coolant everywhere everything. Uh, we don't have any kind of leak I have put everything back together and uh, I started the car as the car runs perfect but because it's oil everywhere on the exhaust into the exhaust from the blown engine I cannot run the car in here um, I'm uh, going to drive it out and here on the right side uh, I have like 400 meters and uh, it's uh, open space yeah between two cities and stuff like that and I can drive it in there so we are going to drive in there so for a few minutes and I have to sleep because I'm I'm not sure 20 hours into this job since I've got the engine on that pallet which is right in there and um, till now I worked all night yeah 
So anyway, no more talking. Let's uh, drive the car to burn all that oil, that residual oil, and to see if everything is okay. Yeah, I have water with me. I have a screwdriver in order to bleed this. And uh, yeah, let's do this. We are on the road with a mini. Behind us there is no smoke. Yeah, and as you can see here is outside of the city. Um, and uh, we are going to check the water temperature, yeah. No smoke. Clutch feel good, feels good. Maybe the uh, steering wheel need to be aligned, but it's not such a big problem. Yeah. So for now, everything seems to be just fine. Um, I'm going to wait uh, for the water to climb. Yeah. After that, I have water with me. The screwdriver, we are going to park somewhere. We are going to check the level. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty much it's fixed. With a new engine, of course, it's fixed. So I think this is the end video for this car. Yeah, we already drove, see that, 20, almost uh, 23 kilometers. Um, the water temperature is perfect, spot on. Yeah, uh, we don't have any kind of strange noise. We have the full power uh, from the engine not uh, any knock nothing so everything is fixed yeah of course the only problem on this car was the engine and uh, now i'm going to give the uh, car back to the owner and um, let's hope this time he will enjoy it more than um, that short period of time yeah my job here is done i'm um, happy with the result yeah apparently i put everything back and correctly together let's um, start working now on uh, other project cars so if you like this episode please give me a thumbs up if you don't like the video as usual thumbs down until next time see you later